Hey stampers, Gainer again. Uh, I've been having a play with my stamperatus and I know it's a bit too early for Christmas cards. I haven't made one, but this is sort of like coming towards autumn and I was still in summer, but look, I've used my stamperatus and a few little leaves from different stamp sets and made this beautiful wreath card. But it's a long wreath card, it's not circular because my card stock is virtually always cut to this size. I took a little trim off so my mask behind in the Bermuda Bay stood out a bit more. But uh, yeah, let's have a go. It's so simple. I've got, where is my mask? <laughs> I know it's a bit of a pain, it's not perfection, but uh, I drew my three and three quarter square, turned it and then drew the triangles and then just cut it all out and I used my trimmer. It's not perfect, uh, my card is cut to three and three quarters and I think, I'm going to just grab my card stuck here. So I've got thick whisper white as the base and I've scored it at four and one eighth. I'm just going to fold that and burnish that in half. My Bermuda Bay is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. My whisper white is three and, oh it's not, we're going to, we haven't cut it yet, so let's do that together here. Yay! I like it when I can do stuff with you. Um, so, I want this three and three quarters. Supposedly the same size as my... By five and a half, because I want a nice little eighth of an inch border. So, literally, we're taking an eighth of an inch off. You don't have to do it all the way around, either. <laughs> so, this will slot in here. See how it's a little bit short? But, as long as you keep one corner tucked in, perfect. And then I've got the Bermuda Bay. This is one and a half by three and three quarters. And the other piece is one and a quarter by three and three quarters. It's just so I've got that little band top and bottom. But I am loving playing with the Stamparatus. I can't put it down just lately. I've got another card I'll be filming later for another day with you all. And uh, it's all using the Stamparatus. Thing is with this, I've got to line it up on this corner. So when I turn my card into this section, it doesn't get trapped over here. So let me grab my magnet, which is stored. And the only reason I cover the whole magnet, because if it does ever shatter, it's all contained. You know, it's all the pieces will stay stuck to the washi tape. So I'm on this corner. <laughs> This is my sponge mat, because some are photopolymer, some are... Push that right up into the corner. And I can just stick this anywhere. I'm going to stick it up here in this corner so I know it stays there. So you always start off on the top with the straight. So as long as that corner, as long as it's all lined up, it's not. It's just over slightly. So I cut this a little bit too short. But as long as this corner, you keep this corner pin tight, you're good to go. Right, oh I'm using four or five different sets here. I'm just pinching little bits from all over. If you notice my card, I've got these little red berries and they're from this set which is Mistletoe Seasons and there they are. I could have used some of these little sprigs here. I may even pinch that one as well. I'm using one of the flowers, I might use this one this time. I use that one, I use this, I use this, I might swap them up, I use this tiny little sprig here, you could use the larger ones, it's entirely up to you, I use this, I might use this instead and I'm going to use the leaves, so it's not going to be exactly the same card but I'm just pinching little tiny elements from different cards, so let's use that one from there. I'm going to put it out. I'm going to get them out ready because I want I want to start off with my longer ones. So I think I might use this one actually with the dots. See, I'm prepared. <laughs> I'm not prepared. I'm going to use the shadow one on this one. This one. And I'm going to use the larger of the flower. 
and I'm going to use this one and I've already got the berries out on a little block because it didn't work so well on the stamparatus being placed in them dots. Mind you saying that I didn't try it so but some are photopolymer some are red rubber as you notice now oh Gainey you've put all your inks away <laughs> silly sausage I've got my Bermuda Bay out so there's one I'm going to use Granny Apple Green and another colour. I'm going to use a bit of Mango Melody, a bit like autumn colours. Um, I'm going to use a bit of Pear Pizzazz where I used Old Olive. And what else? I'm going to go with a bit of Calypso Coral. This time we're going to swap everything up. So one colour at a time. And one element at a time. So we're going to start off with the larger one. I'm going to place that towards the very top. And we're going to pick that up. And that's, I'm using this mat for the photopolymers because it doesn't matter with the spun red rubber. They just work perfectly anyway. So I'm going to start off with my palest colour. So these two cards are absolutely stunning but totally different. But, uh, like I'm, oh, I haven't got my ink spots. I don't have this colour on my ink spots, so I'm going to get my little cloth out ready. I'm going to show you how we're going to do it top and bottom. This is why the sentiments are going through the centre, because you can't. Now, I'm just going to gently press, because I can see some little splodgy splodges there. I'm going to clean that off. I do have ink spots, but now we're going to turn this this way. doesn't matter that my card is hanging over. I'm just making sure it's in that point there. Just going to gently ink that up. I do have ink spots, like I'm saying, for some of the colours, but not for all of them. going to turn it this way, they're beautiful, and then I'm going to turn it this way, making sure it stays in this corner. Now my card is not going to get bashed up. Isn't that beautiful? Now we're going to do exactly the same at the bottom. Yay, love this set. Just wait. I'm going to have to buy more spots and get some and I'm just cleaning everything as I go because I am a stickler for keeping things clean as you know, OCD ah, and look at that, it didn't ink very well at the bottom so, thank goodness for the stamp positioner because I can just go back in how's that? perfect, let's turn it in that air 45 degrees, ink it up again, and come in. And I like the fact they're grouped together like that, it's just so sweet. Turn it back this way. I'm going to show you how to get, should, I, should we do the fourth one on here? Let's have a look. I'm just going to wipe. Now I don't think that inked up very well. Can see that at the bottom. Perfect. We're going to do this four times in a minute with some of these certain stamps. So I'll go, always go back to the centre. Wipe off my. I'm going to pop that to one side. So I'm going to give that a good clean later. So I may come back with this, but I'm just going to pop it away for now. Oh, coffee time. Num num num. Right, now I'm going to start with a, another colour. And another. For a little. For a little. No, I'm going to show. I'm going to go with this one. I want this one here. So pick it up. I do have my ink spots for some colours. I got. 
lemon lime twist, Bermuda Bay for definite. Um, I don't have granny apple green or pear pizzazz. They're full, so I need to buy some more. Hmm. Well, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. So I'm going to do this in Bermuda Bay. The, the spots are so much better. Trust me. So, in and down. I'm not going to press on too hard either. This time we're going to get four to it. One, two. I'm going to go in this way. Making sure it's in the corner. And three. And then I'm going to turn it this way to get that fourth one. I'm loving it, as they say. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's coming along gorgeously. So I'm going to flip my card all the way over so we can start there. I'm only lightly stamping these because I don't mind that they fade. Just keep turning it backwards now. And with the spots, you can keep hold of them. I love this. Loving my Stamparatus at the minute. It's absolutely amazing. And it was well worth every penny. If you don't have one, come get one. Fabulous. And if you need a demonstrator, I know loads. So, I'm a hobby demonstrator, so I don't sell to folk. There we go. That's that other colour. Isn't that looking beautiful? You could stop there. But I just love this. I'll put my spot away. Clean my little stamp. I think we'll have this one this time. Uh, I'm going to put that there. You can come down. You, you, will, you will see bits of it. But you, you're not going to see all of it, if you know what I mean. So let's get some granny apple green on the go. Pick this up first. And again, we're going to get four out of this one. Always make sure your pad is still in that top corner. I know, I should get some spots for this. I know it won't transfer, but look at those little dots. How pretty. Oh my word, turn it. Oh, it doesn't transfer, trust me. They look a bit close together, don't they? But they're really cute. I've got to wipe it off, it's bugging me. <laughs> so they're just going to gather all at this end. And look absolutely gorgeous. So full turn. This, yeah. Uh, oh, now that. It's running a different way. Mm. Interesting, but very cute. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. So let's get that done again. I, you will see bits of this. Like I say, your label will cover most of this. Just going in at those 45 degree angles. Absolutely stunning. Clean off my... I know you can't see it, but I've got my cloth. Oh, I better turn it first, hadn't I? is just so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Love it. Have we just done that one? See, that one gives me a totally different shape. I've got five. One, two, three, four. 
There it is. There's that one. Ah, so I missed a turn there. So, which one was that one? It definitely wasn't that one. Is it that one? Let's have a look. No, it needs to be the other way. I think it may be that way. Let's have a look. Yes. Yay. I knew I'd missed one somewhere. There we go. Nice little cluster down there then. Isn't that pretty? So we've got five there on that colour. I'm going to pop that way. I'm going to fetch in some Calypso Coral now. I'm just going to clean that little lynx off. Right, I always go back to the top. So let's have this beautiful flower. So I'm going to pop it there. So I want it in between, so I'm going to pop it there and use Calypso Coral. Mmm. Pick up your stamp. Oh, yep. Do I have Calypso Coral in my ink spots? Let's have a look. No, unfortunately it's Pickaboo Peach. Mmm. Which is now retired. So, in with that little flower, absolutely gorgeous, turn it this way, ink and turn, go back the other way, Oh, that is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to turn this this way now so we get that extra one down there and I'm going to do the same this side. That is so pretty. And we've got it over there as well. Mm, I'm loving that. So full turn. So we can start and work our way round. Even if it's just poking up the top of your label, it's just going to look... I always turn 90 degrees. Don't do what I'm doing, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Just turn 90 degrees the whole time. So we've got two more turns. We've got one more. Oh no, we haven't. Oh, yes, we've got one more pattern to use, and then we are done. I love it. So I can pop my ink away, wipe my stamparatus down, and that beautiful stamp. I cut that apart from. I always go back to the top. We've got this long leaf now, so I may only do this. I might put that in there just to fill gaps now, so I might have to reposition each time. So what colour haven't I used? Pear Pizzazz. Oh, I'm going to, no, actually, I'm going to swap that. I'm going to get out my Lemon Lime Twist. Because I know it looks really sweet. Ink up. Now I'm just filling in gaps. Isn't that beautiful? Let me see if I turn that that way. Do I get that in that gap there? No. See what I mean? So I'll wipe it clean. I want to fill that gap there. But this positioner is an amazing tool. Absolutely love it. So now I want to do the same. Flip it 100 degrees, 180 degrees. And fill that gap. Turn it back to the top. 
wipe your stamp and then we're going to fill that gap. So pick it up, ink it up. And over we go. Love it! Oh my gosh! That is so cute! <laughs> I'm so, so soft, aren't I? Right, now, I've got those lovely little berries and I've got my real red, which is a little stamping spot. So I'm just going to add some beautiful berries and I'm just gonna pop them in at random. One, two, three. And four. I think that's plenty. I think that really is beautiful and plenty. So let's try and remember where we had them in the other one. But you, uh, we don't have layering squares that big, so I know people use layering squares. One, two, three. And four. I think that's perfect. So I'm gonna take that to clean that. Pop my little onk, ink onk spot. My ink spot. <laughs> to get this out of the way. You can do I made a four by four one as well if you wanted to do a square card. And I think this is a bit more precise. But what it is, I did it on vellum so I could see all the lines, and then I stuck it on smoky slate and just stuck it down. I lined it up and I followed the lines you need to do the crisscross and the diagonal as well see to get the center perfection so let's just line these up and I'm going to pop that that's going to go through the center side by side oops okay now stop it come on that's going to fit it's going to be a little bit over no, it's not. It's going to be the same width, isn't it? I'm just going to have a border top and bottom. So I need to pull that right to this edge. See, we've got that flower missing there and a bit there. So if I make, pull that up slightly, so we've got half a flower there and there. There we go. And I love my one, more what's it called? One big meaning stamp set. I love it because I'm a sucker for a thank you card, as you all know. I love that. So I'm just going to stamp that sentiment right through the centre there. Then we're going to put our card together. Just going to keep it in the centre. Thank you for everything and more. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. And that ink has been on there for a good couple of hours. It wipes off straight away. So, let's pop this card together. So I'm gonna use a bit of wet glue because it gives me wiggle space. When I can get it to come out. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad the Bermuda Bay is staying. Cool, it sets itself inside. There we go. There you go, a little core there. Don't get that out, it'll never come out. And I've just ordered three more of these. Oh my gosh, three for £20. They are, each one is three times bigger than Tombow. And they were seven ninety nine 99 each from craftstash.co.uk. You type in clear 3420, that means 3420 pound. In craft stash, you get three for 20 pound. You save three pound 97. It's not a lot, but it is when you pay in it. Uh, 7 each for these. And 
Tombow is £3.75 for one. So you'd have to buy three Tombows to fill one of these. So that's why I buy this, because it's absolutely amazing. Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue. Fantastic. Oops, right, where's my... Oh, there he is. So my card again, eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored and folded at four and one eighth. This is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths, the Bermuda Bay. And the Whisper White is three and three quarters by five and a half. Just so I get that little board all around. So I'm going to do the tape trick again. Not so much with this one, but this one, especially with that little white border. Uh, the little border all around. It gives me perfection when I'm adding it. Whoops. Oh, well. I have to peel that off. It just makes me line things up a hell of a lot straighter. So I'm going to wrap this down. I'm going to have to remove that piece now. Take that off and take this back a little bit. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful with this one. You can even come down that far. Doesn't matter which way round it is because uh, we haven't got it down yet. Just looking up. Look at that. Perfect. Squash that down. Pollen stick. Pollen stick. How easy is that? So now we can go ahead and line this up. So I'm going to make sure I've got the same amount of flour sticking out there as I have there. Perfect. So I'm going to use a bit more glue because I've got the wiggle space. And now I could, we're done. You can decorate the inside of your card well, however you like. I wait till I know who I'm sending them to. I'm good like that, see? So line that up line that up and that flower's got the same coverage as that one because they were both in the same part on the stamparatus that was amazing so I just love this tape oh my gorgeous friend Caroline sends me some bless her and um, I have to get a range a payment to her so she can get me some more because it's just the best. She gets it from a little craft shop right near her house. And it's a lot, it's 50 pence a roll. It's £3.75 off stamping up. I love stamping up products, but when I can get it, it's exactly the same stuff. When I can get it cheaper somewhere else, I'm going for cheaper somewhere else. Making sure my card is open. I'm going to line this up. And the, with this tape, see, you can move this, get it into position, check it top and bottom, and then you press it down. Remove, remove, good to go. Amazing. And I'm so glad I bought these the other day. I like pulling them out of their packets. So I like to keep my cardboard in there. That's it. I know they're not the same colour but again, but these Coastal Cabana ones are very close. And they give me that lovely little sparkle. And I know we all had three, but I wanted them on my sentiment and on my sentiment only. So I'm going to get rid of that tacky glue. Pop that back together and look, two totally different cards, but so beautiful cards. I hope you like it and please go buy a stamper out. It is just amazing. If you're looking for a demo up north, I highly recommend Danielle Rose. Lovely, lovely girl. Just perfection. <coughs> and if you're down south towards Essex Way, go and see my lovely friend Georgie Burns. She's a demo and I, I'm sure she would love your business. So please, thumbs up if you enjoyed. I'm preferring this one to this one. They're both pretty, but I prefer this one. It's got a little bit more foliage. 
but uh, yeah if you like please thumbs up and a share and if you haven't subscribed already I would appreciate it if you press this button down here and if you want to see what I make tomorrow then press the little bell straight afterwards but thank you so much for stopping by and uh, I do look forward to all your kind comments it's just so heartwarming and I love you all to bits so till next time see y'all soon bye